Um, I want to go over how to do a clean. A couple tips for you. A lot of people struggle with cleans. And in my opinion, they're one of the trickier movements. Um, basically what you need to know, kind of some tips. You want to keep your elbow in close to your body. Okay? And you need to interrupt the arc that's coming at you all right, with a quick linear movement. So basically an uppercut at the last minute. So you're going to kind of suck up underneath of the kettlebell all right, and kind of punch straight up. You want to have a good tight rack. Here's your rack. Wrist is in line with the forearm. Kettlebell is touching the, the, the muscle. But uh, your wrist is straight. Elbow is all sucked in tight and low. Shoulder is down. Start from your rack. It's an easy way to learn. Drop the kettlebell through your hips. All right. Slow back up. So, a couple of things that you need to know. One, the reason why it's so tricky is the kettlebell will hit you if your timing is off or if your power that you're putting into the movement is wrong. Okay? If you explode too much with whatever weight you're holding, the kettlebell will come out and kind of shoot right back into you really quick. It would look like this. So it's an, a, a much bigger arc and it's hard to control, right? Um, it kind of slams into me. I'm being too explosive with my hips. Either I need to lessen the power from my hips or get a heavier belt. Other option is not exploding enough, right? And ending up using too much muscular contraction through your arm. All right, if I don't explode enough, it ends up kind of being like a curl, all right, as I'm coming up. It needs to be a nice fluid motion, all right, that last minute uppercut, spear your hand through the belt, through the handle. Thumb will rotate towards your groin. It helps to start from the rack and practice from there instead of from the ground up. All right, try, keep practicing.